Registered Phenomena Code 097 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Visual Hazard Sensory Hazard Containment Protocols A perimeter fence is to be erected at a 30 m diameter surrounding the structure containing RPC-097. Security personnel are to patrol the perimeter to assure the structural integrity of the fence and to prevent civilians from accessing the containment site. The containment site must operate under the guise of a private mining operation. The entrance to RPC-097 must be concealed at all times to prevent accidental observation. No personnel are to enter RPC-097 under any circumstances. RPC-097 is a hole in the floor of a small concrete structure. This hole has a diameter of 1.5 meters at its opening. The passageway within RPC-097 leads down at a 45-degree angle to the ground. The walls of this passageway consist of heavily rusted ribbed steel sheets, similar to those used in roadside drains. No light sources exist within RPC-097, and its ultimate depth has yet to be determined. Any subject who directly views the opening of RPC-097 invariably feels a compulsion to enter RPC-097, though this can be resisted with effort. Subjects who enter RPC-097 tend to prefer crawling headfirst down the passageway, often justifying their position based on visibility, regardless of if they have been provided a light source before entry. The passageway of RPC-097 is theorized to have a conical structure, due to the fact that the diameter of the passageway was observed to have narrowed the deeper it extends. This narrowing is often unnoticed by subjects, leading to them becoming stuck within RPC-097. Subjects who become stuck exhibit great distress, which escalates the longer they remain within RPC-097. Leaving stuck subjects within RPC-097 in excess of four hours has a 100% fatality rate. Subjects extracted from RPC-097 after becoming stuck tend to suffer several fractured bones, especially the pelvis. Addendum Exploration of RPC-097 Subject CSD-4932 was selected from the available pool of CSD personnel for exploration of RPC-097. Subject was provided with a flashlight, a wireless microphone to transmit audio to mission control, and fitted with a harness for the purpose of extraction using a steel cable and winch. CSD-4932 ordered to observe the entrance of RPC-097 until he entered RPC-097 on his own. Please switch on your flashlight and tell us if we see anything. Oh, right. CSD-4932 switches on its flashlight and illuminates the passage within RPC-097. It's really rusty in here. Noted. Please continue. CSD-4932 crawls further into RPC-097, the rusted steel catching on a CSD uniform, causing minor hindrances in its progress. Subject continues for several minutes before stopping, estimated distance traveled. 100 meters. There's a bunch of jagged edges sticking out from the floor. They smell like puke. Noted. Keep going, but try not to hurt yourself. CSD-4932 is heard attempting to crawl over the hazard, followed by a low ripping sound. Shit! Rip the uniform. It can be replaced. Please continue. CSD-4932 descends RPC-097 for 40 minutes without incident. Estimated distance traveled, 2 km. Are you currently feeling anything? Any unusual thoughts or emotions? Yeah, this place makes me feel like a little kid again. Before I went to jail, you know. Could you please elaborate? You ever explore the wilderness with your friends, playing stuff like hide-and-seek? Well, I'm getting that same kind of thrill. Interesting. Please continue. The exploration continues for approximately 35 minutes without anything of note. Estimated distance traveled, 3.5 kilometers. Uh, duck? 
What did you find, CSD-4932? There's this, uh… Radio silence for ten seconds. Well? There's like… a thing here. Be more specific. It's, uh… running water. That's it? Well, it's like… flowing wrong. Flowing wrong? Yeah, it's coming out of a little hole to my left. But it's not blowing to the ground. It's blowing to the ceiling. It's like gravity isn't working right. Odd. Please continue. CSD-4932 spends two hours descending RPC-097 without incident. Audio has confirmed the diameter of RPC-097 has narrowed enough to force CSD-4932 to crawl on the stomach. CSD-4932 does not notify Mission Control of these changes. Estimated distance traveled. 6.75 kilometers. I, uh, I think something is behind me. Can you see anything? Sounds of shuffling and strained breathing. Shit! The tunnel's too tight. I can't turn my head far enough. Can you hear anything? Y yeah there's something scratching and moving. I think it's close. CSD-4932 screams and begins to rapidly crawl further into RPC-097. It fucking bit me! Shit! It's fucking coming after me! CSD-4932 continues to flee into RPC-097, exhibited no meaningful speech until 15 minutes after its last communication. I I'm fucking stuck! I can't move! Sounds of screaming and struggling. Help! Get me the fuck out of here, please! Mission Control let them to leave CSD-4932 within RPC-097 for several hours for study. After two hours of sobbing and crying, the microphone picked up an audible snapping sound, followed by intense screaming from CSD-4932. Similar snapping sounds continued to occur at an accelerating pace. D-4932's vocalizations exhibited signs of severe pain and hysteria. Final vocalization of CSD-4932 recorded at the four-hour mark. Microphone recorded sounds of snapping and crunching for an extra 30 minutes before Mission Control decided to extract CSD-4932. Extraction by use of steel cable and mechanical wind successful. CSD-4932 confirmed deceased. Subject remain shows signs of extreme crushing trauma. End log.